Hey there, if you know me, you know I love Airtable, and I just found another reason to love it, and that's their Web Clipper extension. So I know that there's a lot of extensions that'll help you save web pages and information from around the web, but I really like the flexibility that Airtable offers, so I want to show you how to do that. So we're going to start off here with an Airtable base, which I just call Web Clipper, and you'll see that I just have a few fields here that we'll use to save uh, the information that we want. So the first one is just the name field, and I want to be able to type this in myself, uh, something that gives me a quick reminder about you know, why I saved the page. Second one is the page title, which we'll grab automatically via the extension. Same thing for the link. The notes field is going to be an open text field where I can just type in additional notes, um, longer notes about if there's anything that I saved. But then we also have a long text field called highlighted. And the way this works is if you highlight text on a page and then click the extension, it's going to grab that automatically. So really helpful for just grabbing small snippets off of a web page so you don't have to go through the whole thing again. Um, attachments, if there's any images we want to save. I have another one called topic, which is just helpful for me. You don't actually uh, need this, but it uh, helps me store you know, why I saved this particular page. It's going to fall into three categories for me. You can obviously have more if you want. And then finally, price, and this is just if there's any products that I find while I'm browsing, I can save what the price is. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is click Apps right here. Click Add an App, and I'm just going to search for Web Clipper. And here we have to give it a title so that we click on it, we know which one we're looking for, because I do have several different Web Clippers, so I'll just call this Add to Web Clipper. And right now we only have table one up here, so that's what it's mapping to. If we had additional tables, we could map it to that as well. Click Add Extension. And here this will allow us to do our mappings. So it, it tries to do a pretty good job automatically of guessing what we, what we want to go where. Um, but I'm going to change some of this because I want name to be something that I just type in myself. So I'm going to change this to None. Link, uh, we're getting that from the page URL, which is perfect. Attachments, we're going to leave as is. Uh, notes from selected text. Uh, if you recall, I have a highlighted field that I actually want that selected text going to, so I'll change this down to highlighted. And now I'll add some additional fields. So I do have the field called page title, which I want to get from the page title, so I just select that. Then I do have that notes field that I want to type in, so I leave that as none. Find, uh, price, again, I'm leaving that as none. I'll just grab that from the page. Um, and then finally, um, we have the topic, which I'm leaving as none, so I can select that myself. So now that's done, I can click Open Extension, close that, and close that. All right, so now let's go to some pages and grab some information. Uh, the first one that I'll do here is, uh, here are the personality traits of self-made millionaires. Um, I don't have any of them, but I still want to make some notes as to why I'm not a millionaire. So I'll come down here, I'll grab this paragraph here about the personality traits, highlight that, come up and click my Save to Airtable extension, scroll all the way down to Add to Web Clipper, and here I'll give it a name and I'll call it uh, Reason uh, um, Millionaire. It, you'll see it automatically grabbed the link, it grabbed the highlighted text, and it grabbed the page title. Um, for my additional notes I'll just put I don't have these traits. Nothing to do for price. For topic, I'm going to choose psychology and click add record. And now when we come up to Airtable, we'll see that this has all been added in um, right in here. So then uh, the next thing that we're going to do is I've also come across this awesome software here called Workado. So I want to save this uh, for later. So this time I'm not highlighting anything. I'm just clicking uh, Save to Airtable. Coming all the way down to Add to Web Clipper. Just call it what it is, Workado. Saves the link. Uh, for the attachment, I'm going to do a screenshot. So I can do um, Add Page Screenshot. I could also just grab a specific part of the page. Or if there was an image on the page, I could do that too. Uh, I'll just do add page screenshot, so it'll just grab what it's seeing right now. Nothing is highlighted, so nothing filled in here. And for notes, I'll just put um, integration platform as a service. Price is unknown, and this is a company. So I'll click that. And then finally, I've been looking for uh, some bike storage uh, for our garage. So I came across this. I want to save uh, this as well. 
So I come up here. Um, I'll maybe just save the features and benefits as a highlighted text. So come up here, add to Web Clipper, um, call it Bike Storage, grab the link. Uh, for the attachments here, I'll just grab a picture um, right here. You'll see that there's a little plus arrow next to the cursor, and that saves the, the image right there. Saved my features and benefits. Um, at this time, I'm not going to put any notes. That, that looks fine to me. Here, I'll put in the price of 417.20 and type a topic of house ideas. So now, when we come back to our clipper, we'll see, or come back to our base, I should say, we'll see that all of this has been saved. Um, if I come into the bike storage, um, all of that is organized really nicely. And now, um, since we only have three records, this isn't going to be that uh meaningful but i'll at least give you the idea of how we can do this so if i do do group by and then choose topic uh we'll see that this sorts it in so you know if i have 15 companies here i can see them all listed together same for psychology house ideas those types of things so um, i think this is really cool i hope that you do too and um, can take advantage of this as well